Let's leave the resort. On this episode, we explore the castle of Barrett for our last few hours in town before heading to Dermy, a small beach town on the Albanian Riviera. So we just finished up our morning coffee in the castle. What do you think, Kat? Amazing view. So far, this is my favorite part of Albania. Breath. Take a stroll through town until we head three hours to the beach. Barat Castle is an ancient fortress that dates back to the 4th century BC. It's renowned for its well-preserved architecture and stunning panoramic views. The castle itself is perched on a hill and consists of numerous medieval buildings, including churches and mosques and traditional houses. You can even stay in one of the traditional houses within the castle. If you're in Barat, this is a must do. All that I could do is laugh. I couldn't hold it back. I couldn't hold it. I couldn't hold it back. We were running on that open shore. No saddle. Journey towards the coastline, we are confronted with poignant reminders of Albania's tumultuous past. The countryside is dotted with remnants of war, with thousands of bunkers serving as enduring symbols. Along our route to the pristine beaches of Dermy, we encounter abandoned airplane runways adorned with decaying fighter jets. These relics, while evoking a sense of history, lead us towards the scenic beauty awaiting us at Dermy's captivating shores. So they're here for sure. Check this out. Holy shit. Activated this guy, he put his gun on his shoulder, he put his hat on, he's coming up to see us. Yeah. So we saw the planes, the the uh, armed guard with his uh, <laughs> AK-4, whatever he had. No, it was a World War One model bolt action. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> bolt action rifle. Came on a bicycle over to me. No English. Wasn't rude, but uh, eventually was like, no, no photos, no photos. Uh, but yeah, they definitely exist. Those, uh, those, <laughs> those planes definitely exist. That was probably, I don't know, like, as far as you can see, probably 50 of them. On to the next city. Under the leadership of Enver Hoxha, Albania's military underwent significant development. Hoxha implemented a strict communist regime, isolating Albania from the rest of the world. The country adopted a policy of self-reliance, heavily investing in defense and building an extensive network of bunkers to protect against potential evasion. The military was a vital tool for Hoxha's regime, tightly controlling and indoctrinated to uphold the principles of socialism. Albania's military under Hoxha played a central role in maintaining his rule until his death in 1985. On our scenic drive, we passed a submarine bunker that is chiseled into the mountainside of the coastline. One of the notable advantages of Albania is its affordability for American visitors. Unlike its neighboring countries Greece and Italy, Albania has yet to become a widely recognized tourist destination, which translates into excellent opportunities for budget-conscious travelers or those seeking luxury experiences for more accessible costs. 
Albania presents enticing deals and options, allowing individuals who might not have been able to afford luxury elsewhere to indulge in the memorable experience. to the main area of Jeremy Beach from our hotel in Empire and you can see that this little tiny dirt road is the only road getting you there and they're going to build and build and build in every single spot if you turn around and see they're literally doing dynamite over there putting a mattress on the dynamite exploding it and they're building over here they're building over here and the big reason for the big bus big build bus is that uh, they're building a tunnel from Valor all the way here that cuts out that crazy mountain drive and probably about two hours so if you're in Toronto and you want to come to the beach you either got to go all the way down pretty much to Greece and up to get over this giant mountain range or take the mountain pass that we did which is incredibly dangerous so you can tell that things are changing here so this little sleepy party town that has a couple festivals you know hopefully it doesn't get ruined like Tulum with the overbuilding it's too much it's really getting built up so I'm happy we got to see it before it got completely overrun but maybe it won't get overrun maybe it will be a, a better place but it's gonna be a five-year thing so maybe we'll be back to see it hopefully you get here before it check it out arrived at this amazing restaurant beach club called Luciano. Um, it's the early in the morning, they have the wood fire burning oven going, uh, not a lot of people here yet because remember we're here before high season. I can totally see how this would be a popular awesome restaurant to go to um, in the middle of the summer. So take a look at the views. With this captivating history, welcoming locals and budget-friendly prices, Albania is bound to shed its secrecy and gain well-deserved recognition. I encourage you all to consider Albania as your next destination. And if you enjoyed our channel, please show your support by liking and subscribing. By doing so, you ensure that we keep bringing you more exciting episodes of Leith Resort.